Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend love and general opportunity tarot reading session for you, Gemini. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good wherever you are right now. This is your weekend reading. Thank you for coming back. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting my channel. This is for the Gemini friends out there. And if you are a guest viewer, and if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now. If you're interested in you are teen, it's the Gemini season. If you're celebrating your birthday, happy birthday, Gemini. This is your weekend reading, okay? There's going to be a love reading in here and general situation reading in here or message. So let's start your reading, okay? There you go. Ooh, look at that. You've got the temperance card in upright position. You've got the full card. Don't take a risk, okay? Um, for some of you, you've got this relationship. You've got this romantic connection. Um, do not be patient. Okay, be patient. Um, don't don't uh, provoke a breakup if you don't mean. Okay, you're being advised. Um, because I don't think you want to end it, or you want. I don't think you want to end the situation. If if your heart, if if your heart is telling you you don't want to break up, then don't say that. Okay, because don't take a risk of triggering this person. Let's break up, you know, because you might end up breaking up and you might regret it because they will really take it seriously. So don't say something you don't mean. It could be a breakup. It could be, um, for some of you, it's next week. I don't think this is a weekend energy, but I feel like it's for next week. This is, there's a situation next week that it will provoke you to be angry, to be upset, to be disappointed don't say some stuff don't say words you don't mean you know you might regret that be very patient okay it, it's something will trigger you to to be upset to be angry careful with your careful with your words because it might you know it might just happen whatever you wish you know for example i wish you were just you know i wish you'd just leave me alone oh or you said, oh, let's break up. Or, you know, I want, you know, I want to, you know, I want to resign now. And then you'll be surprised your manager's telling you, go and submit the resignation or we'll accept your resignation. You know, something that you would regret. Don't say that. It's a next week energy, okay? Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You've got to offer. Okay, what's the to offer? Could be coming from Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Toro, Virgo. There's a two offer. One is coming from the past. It could be a lover. could be an ex. And one is coming soon. Yeah. It's a coming soon. It could be an opportunity at work. Um, or a lover. Or two person. But there's this two offer. It's coming soon. For some of you, it's an opportunity to relocate and you've got two choices. For some of you, it's two person. One new and one coming from the past. Um, you will meet this new person and then it will collide or it will overlap with the past person coming back. Yeah, they've been quiet. The past person, they've been quiet. And then for some of you guys, you've been kind of... You are not active into dating and suddenly you meet this amazing person. It's a great person. You've waited for them. And you were excited to... Like you're really excited to date again a new one. I felt like this is a new romantic um, situation. You were so excited. You know, you were... Yeah, for some of you, you were single um, since, you know, the first quarter of this year. Or you haven't had anybody like solidly dating you. Um, and finally around the month of June, you've got this new person. You're really happy and you're excited. And I'm seeing 4 minutes and 44 seconds as I say this. 444. Four, four. So you've got someone new coming along. And then your ex come back or someone in the past came back. And it's messing on your mind. Like which one to choose. You know. 
you've got when it, when it rains it pours okay next reading is you've got three of pentacles for some of you this could be again um two choices at work two choices at work two offer two two back to back offer one is local one is overseas but you can work from home one is good pay but um i don't know you, you don't seem to be interested like it's really good pay but it's boring the other one it's less than the other one's offer but um you like the manager three of swords hmm. um you're torn between you know staying in your current company or taking in taking this left offer or taking the right offer left and right offer and then you're in the center you know you've got to offer and this is you will i just stay or will i take the left offer or the right offer this right sword so you're kind of torn between staying or going to the left or going to the right sun card what is obvious is that you're not happy with your current job but your current job it is complacent it's good pay it's it's really like a comfort zone to you it's like home comfort zone but you're craving from something different hmm. four of wands yeah like you're craving for a new sa new challenge because at work at your current work it's no longer it doesn't give you that funk, you know, it doesn't give you that kick, that, um, four of cups. Yeah, you're just there, the current job, you're just there for the money. You're just there for the money. It's nothing, not, no development for you, okay? Let's look at the left offer. Well, the six of swords, if you take the other offer, um, the one who... If if you if you for for example for some of you you're, if you're bargaining, the the one who keep who keeps on following up that's the that's the, um, the job offer that follows up the most with you, that's the one that you should choose. Okay, that's the one that's most interesting with you. Yeah, two of cups. Look at that. It's the relationship nine of cups yeah i feel like if you've got to offer outside of your company um the one the one that you would choose is the one who keeps following up who is very uh, prepared like they follow up they, they finish the contract like they're they're really upbeat and very excited to have you you'll feel that you'll feel welcome towards this offer or person yeah welcoming invitation something is inviting towards the other offer versus the other one you will feel it okay in the comms so this is your reading thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here i hope you like the reading if you do don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell and i'll see you soon again guys with a weekly love upload very soon i'll upload it bye bye